Hello, I'm Andy Brown. I'm one of the owners of the Climber School of Real Estate, and this is another Climber School math tutorial video for you. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to calculate APR, or the annual percentage rate, on a loan in a few different ways. You're not necessarily going to have to do it for your state exam to peer some view, but I get so many emails and so many phone calls from students, past and present, asking about this that I thought maybe it'll be easier if I just make a video and put it up on the YouTube channel. I happen to have a friend that asked me specifically about a scenario, so I'm going to use that for the first example. In this scenario, we have a loan amount of $100,000, except that the rate's kind of high, it's 12%. There are 10 points on this loan, but the payoff, the term is 70 days. So how would we calculate the APR for a loan like this? Now, here's one version. I calculated the principal and interest, and I had to use a fancy mortgage calculator on the internet. This is not something that you can do with plus, minus, multiply, and divide. Believe it or not, if this is amortized over weekly payments, the weekly payment is $10,000. $206.62 a week. If we multiply by 10, 70 would have 10 payments. That'll tell you how much we paid over 70 days, and that would be $102,066 and change. Now to calculate the APR, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the interest paid over the term of the loan. This one's kinda of easy. $2,066 plus the points because points are considered prepaid interest. That's why points are so important when you're calculating APR. Now this is easy. 10 points on a $100,000 loan is $10,000. We pay $12,066 in interest on this loan. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide that by the amount of the original loan amount, which in this case is $100,000. That's fairly easy to figure out even in your head. That's .12066. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that by 70 so I get our per day rate. That gives us 0 0.00172374. You don't really need that many decimals, but sometimes I just get a kick out of it. This is our daily rate. I'm going to multiply by 365 for days in the year so I can get the annual rate. That gives us 0.6292 rounded up. If I want percentage, I can multiply by 100, or I can do our climber school trick of moving the decimal to the right two places, either way. Or, remember this, one, two. So the APR turns out to be 62.92%. Approximately. Now I'm going to show you another way of calculating APR. This is what's more commonly used for longer term loans, like for instance, 30 year mortgages. So in this scenario, we have a $100,000 loan. The rate is 6%. One point is 30 years. I happen to know from a mortgage calculator that I used online that the principal and interest payment is 500 
$99.55 a month. Now, I want you to remember in our real estate language that one point is 1% 1 of the loan amount, so our one point on our $100,000 loan would be $1,000. Here is the way that APR is typically calculated for longer-term loans like our 30-year loan. If we add the original loan amount of $100,000 plus the point of $1,000, that gives us $101,000. If I take a PI payment on my fancy mortgage calculator, the principal and interest payment for $101,000 at 6% for 30 years is $605.55. If I go back to my fancy calculator and I put in the payment and the loan amount and the term and I back it in, go the other direction, it turns out that the interest rate to pay off a $100,000 loan over 30 years is 6.09%. That would be the APR on our $100,000 loan with one point. I hope that makes sense. Number one, that's not something that you're going to have to do at Pearson View, but so many students have asked me about this that I thought I would make a video. Now, the third way is really the easiest. Do it on a calculator. Do it on a widget on the internet, or even better yet, call your friendly mortgage loan officer that you work with and ask them to do these for you. Anyways, I hope that helped a few people out there. If you have any questions at all, you know you can call me, email us, anybody at the Climber School of Real Estate. And remember, good luck on your state exam, and above all, don't overthink it.